The most popular vlogging microphone is now back and you are listening to me directly from Video Micro 2 from Road. For this entire video, you are going to meet 100% unedited sound from Video Micro 2 from Road. And currently, my setup is like this. So I am actually sitting sort of rather far, about a meter away from the camera. And I think you can hear my voice crystal clear. So today I want to talk about five reasons why you should definitely consider getting Rode Video Micro 2 if you want to upgrade your sound quality in your video. So the first reason why you would consider getting Video Micro 2 is because the sound quality is really good. So you would have been very familiar with this mic brand called Rode because you often hear me using Rode Wireless Go 2 in most of my videos in YouTube and the sound quality is great. So Rode definitely makes a great quality microphone but to really show you what it would sound like without a microphone so I'm gonna quickly now take off the Rode Video Micro 2 from my Sony Alpha 6400 and now I have taken off the Video Micro 2 from my Sony Alpha 6400 since you cannot hear me properly so I'm gonna put the mic back onto my camera so in any setting where you need to face the camera, you want to pick up good quality sound, then you do have this video micro too. What do you guys think? And also in a vlogging setup like this, the sound is crystal clear. And I've also tried to cook some dinner last night and you can hear a beautiful seasoning sound. And also in a situation where you have a zoom lens, it does actually pick up sound really well from what's in front of the camera, such as bird on the tree quite far away. Unfortunately, I didn't have the zoom lens with me at the time. However, the sound quality was captured properly. And the best thing about Video Micro 2, which is still on my camera, so you are definitely continuing to hear the sound from me with Video Micro 2. So that's why I actually brought the box. So the best thing I like about Video Micro 2 is that it doesn't require battery, which means you don't have to charge, which means you would not run into any situation where you are like, oops, I forgot to charge because if you just stick it to your camera or any mobile devices such as smartphone or even Pocket 2, it will get the power from video devices and it will just start work automatically. So it means there's one less device to charge up, which is really important for vloggers, content creators like us. Hi, I'm Young, and you are hearing me from Video Micro 2 from Rode via my smartphone. And I think the sound is crystal clear. And what I love about it is because there are two cables included in the box TRS to TRS cable and TRS to TRRS cable so you can actually just connect to for example like my smartphone and still use it without charging battery so life is super simple so if you have a lot of different devices you don't want to have yet another device to charge before you go out and shoot or if you do have a lot of devices where you want to use one good quality microphone then you can just use this one microphone and use it in many different devices and keep the life super simple and that helps me to talk about the third point that i do want to mention is how simple and how small the sizes so the overall size is very small and included in this small size box you do get all the goodies all the necessary goodies that you need for good quality sound with the helix isolation mount you do get two cables one is trs to trs which is suitable for cameras and another cable is trs to trrs cable that is suitable for your smartphone or ipad mobile devices and you also do get one firm windshield 
and also one flurry windshield if it gets super duper windy. And the fourth reason why I do think Video Micro 2 is great is because it is compatible with so many different devices. So right now I'm using it with my Sony Alpha 6400. Although my Sony Alpha 6400, it does have this stupid flip design. However, the new, the latest Sony cameras, they all do have swivel design. So the new camera owners, you should not have any problem with using Using shotgun mic and of course it works with smartphone as I've shown you plenty in this video already and that is great because TikTok YouTube shorts most of them are filmed with your smartphones so it will definitely improve the sound in your smartphone as well and also it works with DJI Pocket 2 all right so right now I'm on my DJI Pocket 2 with Rode Video Micro 2 so right now this is my current setup and you are hearing me through Rode Video Micro 2. And of course DJI Pocket 2 it does have wireless microphone and wireless microphone is really popular because it's so convenient you just stick it on here. However there could be some issue with wireless microphone. Sometimes it sort of gets on my hair so you do get sort of like hair sound or it sometimes can go in the fabric and occasionally it's a little bit hard to sort of have it facing my lips and it can just go like this way so maybe shotgun mic might be sort of more clearer voice capturing device and if you guys want to compare the sound this is sound from pocket to directly without any external microphone not even the wireless microphone for dji but this is straight from the camera device mind you you have to notice this is a really quiet mountain forest so maybe the sound is not that bad now this is the sound coming from wireless microphone for pocket 2 specially designed for pocket 2 you do notice in my color it sort of does fall this way and one thing i noticed about wireless microphone for pocket 2 is that yeah the sound quality is decent but what i notice is that i have to always bump up the sound in the post editing process but just need to bump up that sound so it's just one more additional process in your video editing and you really want to reduce that as well as insta 360 x3 i've tried so right now i am using insta 360 x3 and using the mic adapter from insta 360 so that i can use video micro 2. so this is a sound without using external microphone for insta 360 x3 probably you know this is a really quiet area so the sound quality i don't know whether you can hear much difference but the point that i want to put across to you guys is that you can use this shotgun mic in probably any camera devices out there because it doesn't use any battery so you can just pluck it in your camera devices and the mic is on so the fifth and the final point i want to mention is that rode video micro 2 it does have helix isolation mount which is designed and made in australia in their own factory so that it's built at the highest quality so helix isolation mount it lifts up the microphone so it isolates the microphone as if it's up in the mid air so that it doesn't capture any of the noise that you do not want from your video but there is one thing that i do want to mention while i've been actually testing out rode video micro 2 for example if you are interested in running with your microphone then maybe you know this microphone is not something for you because once i start running i realized that you know something somehow it does not capture my voice very well but that's probably because i am putting a lot of force while i'm running so that's why it's not recommended if you're really going for crazy action with your camera so i really enjoyed using rode video micro 2 on a standing position like what i'm doing right now on the camera on the tripod really stable then i think it does capture my voice very very well very strong sound and also i loved it when it was capturing the sound from cooking and so on in the kitchen it was really capturing those minute very small sound really well even like the cracking of the egg
but if you like moving around sort of in the outdoor environment then maybe you should also consider the Rode Wireless Go 2 which I have been using for many many months now and a very thorough review is up here so don't forget to check that out and this month I'm gonna have a lot of mic review so please don't forget to subscribe and like the video and see you